say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. Gloria Christ had gotten her first big break. A budding young singer and actress, she'd landed a gig at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, opening for legendary comedian Don Rickles. I'm aspiring like I gotta do good here. It was 1988 and she was 26 years old. Here's this little Greek girl singing all these, you know, big songs with this big voice. After months of rehearsals, opening night was a grand success. Everybody loved it and then Don Rickles would call me back out and say, isn't, you know, isn't she great? Let's give another round of applause. Critics and magazines like Variety gave her rave reviews. And she meanders with bursts of fire and passion. <laughs> After her third performance at about 1030 at night, there was a knock on her hotel room door. It was the owner of the Golden Nugget, casino mogul Steve Wynn. But at the Nugget, we have a lobby. And the first thing is he had on this white terry cloth robe. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. After some small talk, she says Wynn got right to the point. He said he wanted her to give him a massage. He asked me if I knew what a hedonist was. Did I know the definition of a hedonist? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, well, I'm a hedonist. And I go after what I want. And this is what I want you to do. And I was like, mm-mm, nope. And he sat in that chair and he kind of swerved around and his robe opened. And he asked if I, if I was sure I didn't want to give him a massage. And I said, I'm, I'm really sure. I, mm -mm. The hair on the back of my neck stood up. I had a queasy feeling in my stomach. It was just slimy, sleazy. I, I knew something was very, very wrong. I remember pointing at the door and just um, saying, get the, f get the F out of my room. And then what happened? And he said, you've just made the biggest mistake of your career. She says all of her privileges at the Golden Nugget were immediately cut off. I had no room. I had no way to get home. It was like the wrath came down. And I went from being this really talented spitfire to a nobody. Her parents bought her a plane ticket home. What was it that gave you the strength to say no? I just knew that's not where I wanted to be. And I was the only one who was going to change that situation. Chris bounced back and had a long career singing, acting, in theaters, on television, in movies. Today, she also teaches drama in this high school theater in Rhode Island. Last fall, after the Me Too phenomenon started to take off, Chris says she decided for the first time to tell her daughter and some of her daughter's friends what happened in Vegas 30 years ago. I told them that to show them the example that no is a complete sentence and you have the power to say no. I chose to say no regardless of what it cost me because what it gave me, there's no price tag for. Now, Wynn's attorney didn't answer our request for a comment. Some former employees have filed lawsuits alleging Wynn coerced them into sexual acts. He denied the allegations. Now, L Gloria says she won't file a lawsuit and doesn't want any money. She just wants her story to empower other women. Karen Anderson, Five Investigates.